हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सेशन 22 इन जेनकिन सीरीज सो दोज हु आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल आई हैव क्रिएटेड वन जेनकिन सीरीज ऑन माय चैनल कंटेनिंग अराउंड 25 वीडियोस ऑलरेडी सो इफ यू आर अ बिगिनर कैंडिडेट दिस वीडियोस विल हेल्प यू टू लर्न दिस जेनकिन कांसेप्ट फ्रॉम द बेसिक ओके सो प्लीज वॉच दिस वीडियोस एंड शेयर दिस वीडियोस इफ यू फाइंड इट हेल्पफुल एंड इंफॉर्मेटिव so as a part of this session uh, we are going to see a very small concept but uh, important how we can use the timestamp in the jenkins and how we can configure different timestamp format so let's try to create a project for this so i will click on new item i will give let's say here timestamp demo okay i will create a freestyle project click on okay I will go here uh, in the build step. I will select uh, invoke top level me on targets to run one local me on project. So here I will provide my goal like uh, clean install. Okay, click on advanced and here I need to provide the location of my pom.xml file from the local machine. So let's try to run one project from this. So let's try to run this one so this is the location so i will copy this location add it here and give pom.xml at the end because we need to run the pom.xml file right so while running this main project uh, first i will click on apply and save and then we will see how timestamp will uh, come when we build the project so first build i am creating without the timestamp So you are able to see all the information but you are not getting idea at what time I started this build at what time the action is started okay so there are different actions happening like this is the one action it is going to clean the project as we are using the clean install then it is going to compile it then it is going to start the test cases so we need to get the idea when my test cases get started like there are let's say 10 test cases so when my first test gets started when it is completed at what time what action is performing okay so test case containing different test steps so you will be able to see with the help of timestamp at what time your test uh, step is running okay individual test step running so from this console output i am not able to get that information without timestamp so how we can do that just go to the configure for the jenkins job so now here i will search timestamp okay so in this build environment you are getting this option add timestamp to the console output so simply select this checkbox and click on apply and save so let's try to create the second build now so this build will create with the timestamp so let's see that okay so you can see that uh, from the starting statement itself we are able to see at what time this uh, project has started okay so this is my local system time 13 0 1 and 15 second okay in the 24 hours clock time okay in that format so for every statement you are able to see the timestamp okay so now you can see my test has started after 13 0 1 21 second okay and they are still are uh, getting executed and my project completed okay so my project got completed at 13 0 1 55 seconds so with the help of this timestamp you are getting a proper idea at what time what action is performing when we run this project okay so very useful in your jenkins so on the left hand side you can see there are two options to get the timestamps one is system clock time means you are getting this system clock time and another one is elapsed time okay so if you select this time so you can see here it is simply showing the time elapsed after the particular action or particular steps okay so most of the time we use the system clock to see at what time my action is started so another thing we are going to see is how to uh, configure the timestamp format okay so if you see currently we are getting this time in the uh, hours then minutes and then second right so current uh, format is let's say uh, hours then it is showing the minutes right and then it is showing the seconds like that so now if i want to change this format i want to uh, let's say i don't want the second i just want the hours and minute 
okay so how we can change it how we can configure it so for that purpose uh, i will open the dashboard in the new tab so just go to the manage jenkins so all the settings related to the jenkins configuration you can do from the manage jenkins so you just need to log in with our uh, administrator privilege okay administrator user and go to the manage jenkins from this configure system you can do all the settings and that will be applied globally to all the jobs and all the people okay configure global setting and path so click on that so again i will search timestamp here okay so here you will find this timestamper so here we are getting two options system clock time format and elapsed time format okay so if you remember you are getting the elapsed time in this format previously so it is showing the uh, millisecond value as well okay because this format was set in the manage jenkins configure system so this is the format which will be set by default by the jenkins and if you want to change it just change it from here so let's say i don't want the second value here so i will remove it and apply so now let's try to create another build okay so now we can see we are getting the time in the hours and minute only you are not getting the second value okay so another format you can use it let's say i want to get the uh, date value and month year this value as well okay for history purpose so i can give dd dash let's say mm dash then i can provide the year in capital or small y and then space okay so this is the format you can use this will uh, display the current date current month and year and after that we are getting the hours and minute okay so now we are getting the date uh, month and year okay along with hours and minute okay so in the same way we can uh, change the time for this elapsed time as well if you want currently it is showing the values in the millisecond also but if you want you can change it from the this value elapsed time format so i was just saying that it will be applicable for all the pipelines so here this checkbox is available okay so you can simply select this checkbox and this setting will be applicable for all the pipeline uh, builds as well so i will come soon with the another important concept in the jenkins till that uh, watch these videos to start the jenkins from your local system set up it uh, create different builds you can use different options available from the jenkins i have shown all the things here in details from the basic Okay, so I hope uh, this video will help you and uh, try to share this video if you find it informative.